Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. I, that's the closest thing I can think of, to tell you the truth, because she gave me this African tea back in the day, and it scorched me up. African tea? Yeah. And here in America, where's she giving the uh, African tea? You know what I'm saying? She trying to, you know what I'm saying? I think you swallow Drano or something to get that <laughs> powerful like, voice. You know, yeah. You know, a manhood, though, to tell you the truth. But when you, in other words, there was a time in your life. You had a high voice like any other kid. You had a regular voice, and then your mom gave you the tea, and then your voice got all screwed up? Well, you know, that's the closest thing I can come up with other than manhood. Then other than manhood. Yes. That's an incredible voice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Oh, yeah. It really is. It's a career. It is a career. Are you doing any more music, or are you just, like, out of the music business? No, actually, I'm putting a new album together right now called Faces of Loke. Because, I mean, that album was killer. I mean, the oh, one with the uh, funky called Medina, and, oh, and oh, wow. there was a bunch of good songs yeah. on there. Wild Thing. Thanks. Wild Thing. Wild thing. Man, it was great. All right. I appreciate it. We still play yeah, all that and stuff. and so what really? happened? Why weren't you doing music for all this time? Well, you know, I just kind of stepped aside and got, you know, put my foot in the door, a few other things, a little mm -hmm. acting, a little yeah. voiceovers, you know, because the rap game kind of, you know, it exploded. Right. So I just wanted to, you know, Get my foot in the door a few of a, a few other things like uh, the cartoon that I'm doing now. Yeah, now what is that cartoon? That's like a uh, you you uh, always liked uh, Bill Cosby's cartoon, Fat Albert, because when you were a kid, that was the only black guy you'd ever seen on TV. Exactly. I'm yeah. glad you said that, kid, yeah. Daddy, because that's one of the reasons why I came together with this cartoon is because every time you mention a a black cartoon to another brother or sister, all they're gonna say is. Not Albert and Cosby kid. Right. Well, you know, that's that's a little over 20 years old, no disrespect. Right. So, you know, I'd like, you know, my kids and your kids. And now, is this a hipper cartoon? Yeah, it is. It's like a style going into the turn of the century. So what do you do? You play a black guy in the cartoon? No, I'm Sea Bear. Sea Bear. The, play, the, uh, the cartoon is called Sea Bear and Jamal. And you play the bear? I am the bear. So the bear isn't a black guy. He's a bear. Bear is a black bear, brother. He's a black bear. Yeah, he's just a regular bear, but uh, right. But he, but he has a black a attitude, brother, you know right? Yeah. And Jamal is a kid who has a bear who is a black bear, and he's a black kid. He's a black kid. And where's the living? white kid play the black voice? Or it's a black no, actually, we we have a we have a, we have a white voice in there. You, you do. Yeah, Jeannie Elias. Oh, is that right? And we have Kim Field, even though she's not a white girl, but right. you know, we have Don Lewis and George Wallace. We have some pretty talented. And people. what happens in this cartoon? Do the black kids learn some kind of lesson? Is that it? I think a lot of lessons are learned because you know what I mean. We talk about clothes and no, you know, how, you know how it is. How it, right. Uh, well, I don't know how anything is now, but right. When you were when you were a little younger, you may not have been able to have the certain pair of clothes that you wanted to have because exactly. Uh, you know, for whatever reasons. Exactly. Because our parents, so, our parents were dressing us like my, idiots. My mother exactly. dressed me so badly. Oh man, yeah, I had no clue. I was the so, biggest geek. Yeah, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. All right, Shut so Sea Bear and the kids. Okay. So, uh, let me just give you a plug here. Tony's going to be signing copies of the video of uh, Sea Bear uh, Jamal. and Jamal. Yes. And that'll be in the video stores October 6th. So and you'll be... It's going straight to video? It's not for TV? Yeah, we're, no, we're putting it out on home TV. I'm taking it off of Fox Television now. Is that right? Yeah, I don't think they're as serious, you know what I'm saying, as they should be with it. Hmm. I mean, they're not, you mean you were I doing... just let the, the cartoon go away, you know what I mean? Cause it's oh, so it's not going to be on TV? Button. Not now. It was supposed to be on Fox. It was on Fox for the past year and a half. And nobody paid attention to it? Sure they did. The oh. ratings were swell, but they wanted to disrespect the brothers and sisters. In what way? In what way? Because they had basically just took it off not paying attention to the ratings. In other words, they were trying to save some money with some other type of show, which didn't do half as well. Do you feel your cartoon brought in too much of a black audience and people uh, discriminate against uh, shows that are attractive to uh, black people? No, Thank actually, you. I think the audience uh, was basically mixed, to tell you the truth. And I think that it came down to the, to the head people at Fox who discriminated against, discriminated against, who discriminated against the cartoon. To really? The truth. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Because, I, I think mean, the young on, kids you, don't you, notice that stuff, man. They exactly. just like it. Exactly. That's, it, that's, that's the whole it. point. I just wanted to have a cartoon. I wasn't paying attention. I to believe it. it's the white <laughs> man. <laughs> the Fox is mostly a white-run company. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I don't Saban. like the white man. I'm Saban. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. We're going to drop names. Saban is his name. Really? Saban I'll be honest with you. The white man, white man was never good to me. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Me either, man. Right. Hey, Howard, let me ask you a question. Right. I heard uh, you had a little black in you. Is that true? That's true. True. Is that right? But that was a rape, and I don't want to talk about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I grew up in an all-black community. That's true. Yeah, I remember you told me that. Yes, before. I did. Yes, yes. Yeah. He ain't kidding, Tom. 
I lived in the next town. That was a seriously... He used to come to the park where I used to play paddle ball. The only white guy playing basketball with all the black guys. I mean, he was just right? the only yeah. white guy. Uh, I was something. Yeah. yeah I, was like, I was like Tarzan, Tone. I, I lived in an all-black community, <laughs> and I was like, I'd be like, oh! Basketball court with you, yell. I got my ass kicked so many times. Oh, really? Yeah. D actually recalls seeing me back yes, then. Yes, I, I do. Yeah. We had a really long hair back then, man. Uh, I was very tall. I remember that, too. I was very tall, it's yes. It's a little different setup than before, I must Yeah, say. different place. We're doing yeah. a little better, but not that much better. <laughs> you even, you know, you looked a little better, baby. You were already exceptionally oh, cute. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm like, wow. Who are you marrying? <laughs> You're pretty damn cute. You're oh, marrying a, a black chick or a white chick? You know I got to marry a sister, man. Right, you that know, would look I can't bad. I walk down the street without getting my eyes <laughs> kicked, <man. Come> <laughs> So you then you'd be that. opposed to marrying a white girl. Although, just, you know, I'm not a, you know, I'm not really a racist type of guy, you know. Hey, right. You love if you were a smart man, you get a little white woman on the side. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, right. you, know, yeah. you know how to play that game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who oh. is he to discriminate against right. the white woman? Where, now, where'd you meet this very fine sister that you were? in L.A., man. You, you know did? Saying, Model? Beautiful one. Yeah. Yeah. How'd yeah. you know? I mean, you know, she, she has other jobs as well, but, yeah. you know. Really? <laughs> is this, is this sister here. somebody I would know? I'm very impressed with you. You've wow. met me before. I know, but I'm wow. like, damn, you look very oh, good over there. Well, thank you. She's doing Pilates, that's why. Oh, wow. If you ever get tired of just looking across the room, <laughs> come to L.A., baby. Right. I gotta move now. Yeah, you could have a married man. Wow. <laughs> she's very sexy. Now, who is the sister? Is she a light-skinned sister or very no, dark? Actually, she's about my uh, complexion. I don't know what you would call that. I would call you, uh, you're, you're, you're not dark-skinned. I'm not dark, but I'm not light. You're, you're, uh, what, what, what is man. tone? You Tone's like, I'm just, I'm you're a five on a scale of one to ten. Well, I'd call myself a six. You know what I'm saying? Give me a six. <laughs> I think you got some white blood in you somewhere. You think so? Yeah, yeah I do. Do you need any sunblock? Yeah. Yeah, you might actually tan if uh, you went out in the sun. So I would, you're not as dark as Wesley Snipes. You're, you're like, uh. I wish I was, though. Uh, he's a beautiful man. So, brother, it's cool, man. You might be part Indian. Hey, man, is that a fro you have? No, there's no Indian in me. No, no fro. Just, and, I, and, uh, and I must say, I'm tired of all the brothers and sisters aren't talking you? about their Indian in there. Yeah, isn't that obnoxious? Yeah, we can't the see the Indian. Boy, they we got over everybody. The black. Yeah. Why does every... Why does I, mean, every I want to know how many Indian talk about, I have a great-grandfather that's black. Yeah. <laughs> None. Why do so many brothers and sisters say that they're part Indian? I don't understand that. You, you want me to tell you the real reason? Please. All right, I'm going to tell you the real honest reason. Okay. I'm serious. All right. Now, I had a great-grandfather who recently died a few years ago. Uh -huh. He was born in 1885. Right. He said that. Um, now, I do have white in my family, even though you can't see it. But you can see it through some of my aunts and them with the green eyes. I can All right, see it a little. For that. All right. All right. Now, back in the days, now, you know, between uh, some black folks, there's racism between light skin and dark skin. So, there is. a lot of dark skin people, I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of light skin people would say back in the day that they had Indian in them yes. to be more accepted right. by the brothers and the sisters because it was more, you know, it's okay, you got Indian, that's cool. Oh, oh yeah. you didn't want Rather to be white. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm oh, saying? I see. So, uh, a lot of that kind of, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. transpired and it just kind of, you know, went a little bit overboard uh -huh. because I'm tired. Of well, no now you Indian see all these dark people some... saying they have Indian. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm like, you little black nappy head ass, you know what I'm saying? Come on. So what about this model? Tell me about this. So you, you met her, obviously, after you became famous. I, well, you know, back in the day, I just right. had my third son. Oh, no, with her? Yes. Oh, you, so you're not even and married. I'm engaged with her. I'm engaged. <laughs> That's the way Don't to do get it. Me, man. You're pretty damn engaged. <laughs> That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's very engaged. Three kids. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Mm. Hey, all the kids, you have three kids. I have three boys. Pull the trigger, all bro. Of, all of them with let's, this let's woman? Let's be real. Yeah. With Robin? I was a single father with my oldest son for the past six years. All of these uh, children with the same woman? No, ma'am. I'm uh, sorry to oh. learn, but I raised all of them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I raised one single handedly. Did you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, where was you? Wh where was the woman who had this first son? That's a great question. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Did she just kind of book out on you? I have no idea. Man. You did not. She's back with the tribe. She's a great dad. You know what I'm saying? Did she try? Did she try to uh, get money from you when you became famous? You know, actually, it wasn't about the money. I think it was more about the size 14. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Bah, bah. 
She wanted to see what was going on. <laughs> right. No, you know what I mean. In other words, you had the kid. Yeah, you would I think like she, she would want to sort of like shake you down because you're a rich guy. I'm, you know, I, I told her I was telling broke. You know what I mean? Were you I, broke I, for a while? I, I was not trying to give up. She told me she was rich. That's why I got with her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after you put out the big album, you must have made some dough, right? Hey, I had my fair chips. Right. You know and, and yeah, I hear what you're saying. Hey, I'm down with that. I gotta get a little something, something. Right. So you, <laughs> hey, can I ask a question? Who uses this mic before me? Because. That was our producer. He did some out toy. That's uh, Gary Delabate, our producer. Wasn't uh, Richard uh, Greco on Oh, maybe it was Richard Greco. Richard oh, Greco? <laughs> no, Rich. No, no you're cool. I saw, I saw him walking out. Though. I didn't know that was... Good-looking guy, huh? Well, I don't know about all that. He's cool, though, I guess. Right, right, right. But, um, you know. yeah. So where'd you grow up? I'm from L.A., man. Really? Were you, did you grow up in the ghetto? Born and raised now. I'm not from the ghetto. I'm, from, I'm born and raised on the west. I'm an OG from the west side, cat. Way before all of this west side came out. Did you know that... This came from the, let me show you, that, that, see that tattoo right there? Yeah. That's an old tat from when I was young. Right. And that and that, that that came from this W, the West Side Trot. Right. Okay? Yeah. Now, the last video I let out was called Funky West Side. You know what? what? They, wouldn't, they wouldn't let me put it out because it was doing the W like this. And everyone was afraid and of that. And it had gang members in it, but the gang members were actually getting along. Well, as a kid, you were you were almost in a gang, and then your mom threw, got you out of there and sent you to private school. Is that right? Oh, man, I wish. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, not true? No, that's not. My mom sent me, she did send me to private school for one year. Wait, with all white kids? Yeah, it was a gang of bunny guys up there, I must say. But <laughs> they were all pretty cool, though. It was all white guys? Yeah, it was a gang of bunny guys. So you guys. must have hated that, I mean. Few, we had a few brothers. You know, we you know we got to sneak in and get a foot in the door. I think know. that voice in high school would scare anybody. <laughs> yeah, right. So in other words, when you were growing up, you, you were in a gang? I was. I had my fair, my fair share. You know, what do you have you to do to get my me? gun shot No, no, no. What, so you took a bullet? Yeah, I got a bullet. And what's that like? Is wow. that hurt? Does that hurt? It didn't hurt. I was more pissed off that he shot me in my brand new shirt than anything. Who shot you? The man? I or? don't know what his punk ass name is, man. I'm serious. White guy? Heck no. Are you crazy? Black man. Yeah, it was a soul brother, man. You know what I'm saying? No. From a rival gang? No, he wasn't a rival gang thing. It was just more or less a uh, MFI thing. Mm. Yeah. What's the MFI wanna, thing? Well, well you're not black, that. Robin. You don't understand it's these things. <laughs> a mother right. individual. Right. Uh, uh, See, I knew that uh, before. You could have told me. <laughs> 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 All right. So, so, you took the bullet. Yeah. Right, and, and did you do any good crimes or anything? Of course not, man. You never did any crime? No, I'm not into crime. I, I always wanted to be a really, really rich guy, and I knew that. Gang banging, you know how much? How rich can you be? Gang banging, you know right? So saying? how do you get in a gang if you're not willing to do anything bad? You, you do all that stuff young. You got to grow up and mature. If you know what I'm saying? I mean, but what do you have to do to get, get in the gang? Up, what do you have to do to get in the gang? You, you have have to associate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. When I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? And you get your little ass kicked once or twice, and pretty much. So what do you do? You go fight the other gangs? Yeah, you know, if they're right there, actually, yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? We had a heavy Crips and Blood, you know, Crip and Brim thing out there in Los Angeles. Bro. Which, which were you, I Crip or Blood? I'm from the Crip side of thing. My, my name, L-O-C, is a Crip name. It is. You know what I'm saying? That's why I go off now. See, I'm, do I'm turning it all around for the cartoon's sake. I would have gotten you know in a gang. Saying? No one would put me in one. <laughs> I, I tried. <laughs> well, I, had I was going to go with uh, the uh, Five Percenters. Well, but... I thought you was in the JDL. No, 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 no JDL. <laughs> 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 they, kick, they, they got busy on Jay Springer, man. I don't they sure did. Else's name on you show. can do that. But they protected you guys. There man. you go, brother. Much love. <laughs> <laughs> they represented. <laughs> you should have gotten the JDL. Where were you? I was at one of their meetings once, yeah. and there was some tough guys in there. Yeah. I have to say, there was this guy. Saul, I was like about. I was Woods. about. Yeah, Shlomi. I was like, <laughs> no, serious. He was, oh, he was. Just he kicked Smith, ass. Right? I was. Uh, I was uh, playing basketball at the uh, Rockville Center. Rec Center, and I'm playing there with two other guys I know, two white guys. This is when he moved to a completely <laughs> white neighborhood. Yeah, he left the black. And a bunch of white guys come in, but like biker Ooh, guys, yeah. and they start beating us with chains. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, beating us is whack, whack, whack with the chains. They have big metal chains. So I'm like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> so the guy goes, hey, we're gonna get these guys. We're gonna go over to the JDL. Uh, I said, okay, let's go check it out. So I go over like in Hewlett or something, like you know, and this guy's having a big meeting. So I walk in there with my buddies, and this guy I knew was a big football player, Jewish guy. Yeah. Uh -oh. And he, he's part of this JDL, I find out. He's like in the underground. And there sitting there is this guy with an eye patch, like looking like Moshe Diane, And he's got the eye patch and everything. And, he, you know, he's missing an eye, and he picks up his eye patch, and he shows us that he's got no eye under there. And he goes, and he's got a pistol on the table. And he goes, everybody here tonight, 
There was about 15 guys there. We're going out to guard a temple. I go, what? What do you mean? What do you mean we're going to guard a temple? I don't care what they do to this temple. He says, yeah, they... they you are down to guard the temple? And I'm not... No, I just want them to kick these three guys' ass for me. Come on. <laughs> you know? You got to be down, man. So they hand me a baseball bat. Two of the guys have guns. And we're going down with a bunch of baseball bats and guns. And we're standing out there waiting for some guys to come along who've been vandalizing oh, the so temple. you went to guard the temple. Yeah. I wasn't going to be a pussy and not go. And I'm going, oh, if these guys show up, what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to end up in jail. He sucked at baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine me with a baseball bat? So I'm sitting there waiting. And I'm like, everyone's like, yeah, we're going to shoot these guys. We're going to kick their ass and everything. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I'm down with this. And never again. Guy never showed up. Thank God. <laughs> And I never showed that up again. That was the last meeting I went to. That was my, my involvement. And that's when he got that OG JDL tat on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forever. JDL. Forever. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, down with that. Much love. Oh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> what was his hand signal? So <laughs> they, what they call you? How dog? How dog. How that dog. was my name. What's up, how dog? So how did you get the name Tone Loke? Like, they just gave Loke, that to man. you? Oh, my name is short. You know, Tony, that's my name. Right, but what's no. the Loke thing? Loke is short for Loco. Oh, Loco, right. You were crazy. Loco. Yeah, you crazy. Crazy as all hell. Yeah, I was tone deaf. <laughs> that was my thing. <laughs> that was my name. Tone deaf. Yeah. So now you got the you got the model. You got you knocked her up. That's so nice. When's the wedding? Oh. When's the wedding? When are we going to the wedding? Oh. What are we, are we wearing? What, uh, can you wear a nose ring? In the, uh, <laughs> at the that is a nice look. Uh, yeah, that, that is pretty unique. Yeah. Yeah, can you talk? <laughs> like, you look good with that, man. That is get that in your. I tell you, people really get uncomfortable. When you got a ring in your nose like that. You know, <laughs> they don't know where to look. Yeah. <laughs> How come you don't have one of those? I, I haven't gotten that yet. D's gonna take no, me down yeah. there for that. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna uh, strap me I'd in. Like no. to see that. I might pass on that look. That's yeah. a little too radical for me. That's Anybody. pretty tight, homie. Yeah, big nose ring. Uh, wow. All right. Anyway, it's listen. Thing, Let know. me give Tone some plugs here, okay? Give, right. me some, give me some love. All right. Tone some is some the bread, voice so. of Sea Bear in the kids' TV show Sea Bear and Jamal, available yes. in video stores on October 6th. Baba Booey's telling me him and his kid been watching the tapes. All right. They love him. Love them. So Baba Booey will be there. Beautiful. Yeah. And a lot of you brothers out there, you get them because it's about a black cartoon, and white people don't have to be afraid. It's no, okay. No, there's no need. There's no need to be I mean, afraid. Because it's a cartoon. Yeah. It's actually, about, <laughs> yeah. it's actually kind of about my life. It's about a single parent, you know, and I was a single parent for so many years. I can't see you doing that. We got Paul Fernandez in there, Margaret Show, you know what I'm saying? And what, what kind of parent are you? Are you good at it? I'm a great parent. And what do you do? You give advice to your kids and everything? Yeah, I give them advice. And where do you take them? I don't take that shit. Yeah, really. You know, hey, what can I say? You ever hit your kids? No, maybe three times a year. Really? Yeah. Honestly. For what? What offense? For whatever they, whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? I, I whip my kid probably about three times a year, honestly. Really? And I'm, not, I'm not one of those. Go stand in the corner. You just give him a good Time whooping. Out. Smack him around a little. I'll pull those little pants down and tap that ass. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, yeah, that's kind of sick. Only, only, you uh, know what I'm saying? Only. What are these boys you got? Oh yeah, boys, fun. man. And they pull their pants down, and you see their wieners, and you oh, and you start geez. spanking them? Oh, gee, I'm not really trying to look at their little wee-wees, but, yeah, yeah, but you if know. they related to me, they're going to be all right. What happens if you're whacking them and they get aroused? Wow. Oh, stop. <laughs> we got they bigger might, issues. Might, <laughs> might, <laughs> you might have to really whack yeah, them. Just to whack the other side. <laughs> no, that's got to be weird, pulling the kids. I never did that to my kids. No, you, oh, never, you never gave your kids a spanking? Never. Never hit them. Uh, never had to. Uh, that's cool. He's got I'm three sad. girls, though. Oh, yeah, that's a big. Have you hit your yeah. kids, D? I could say that. I, I could say like three times in their life. You know, yeah, boys and girls. Boys. And he's boys. Yeah, boys. boys. And I like I'm pulling the pants down. Well, kind of thing. more like you pulled your kids' pants down. No, 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 never, never. Uh, so just like a whack. So that could be kind of. Doing. That's kind of gay. Go in there and sit down and pull him down. You know, you know the old trick. Do they have to pull their pants? Go in there and wait for me. Do they have to pull their pants down in front of you? I don't really care. No, they have to be already ready when Daddy gets here. So they're standing. The wait, let me get this straight. They're standing there naked when you walk in the room. Dude, don't you know the trick, Howie? See, that ain't right, man. Don't you know the trick? <laughs> that ain't right. It's a psychological game. Really? You make them go in there and you wait, make you're them trying to make them and crazy? you make them wait in there forever with their pants off, thinking about this thing psychologically. Oh, dear. right. Okay. <laughs> D, so you there's a lesson learned right there. D, I you got to do that. that. Yeah, it worked on me. Exactly. Yeah, can, at, Dee, Dee, can I? Can, can you have your boys get stripped down naked and I'll come over and spank them? Oh, you, <laughs> oh, you have boys and girls. No, I got three daughters. Uh, is that right? Right. That is right. And I would never hit them. 
Well, I wouldn't hit my daughters either. Right. You know, but you know, sons can handle it. Three little boys, you got to get with them. You know what, what D? Why did you boys? hit your boys? What did they do wrong? Oh, I, I actually don't remember. I mean, see, that's what I think is really the most them. amazing you thing. Them. You would actually hit your child and not remember why. Well, I mean, it wasn't like that. Like, see, they, what he's got is like a real, like, a premeditated thing going on. Do you on. remember all the reasons you got a spanking for? I it remember up? that there was no good reason. What, but you can't remember the exact reason. That's what I'm saying. If well, it isn't boo. that important, why are you hitting somebody? I mean, when we give somebody the death penalty, well, I think we remember Howard what Stern they sucks. did. I gotta go this in there and like spank him on his butt, right? You can do to your child, and nobody even remembers why. Hey, look, me and Tom, we got hit. Didn't hurt us. Didn't affect uh, us uh, at all. No. Did didn't I your want dad you to go look in the mirror? Didn't your dad hit you with a wiffle ball bat? A wiffle ball bat. That was once. He yeah, beat you over the head with it, right? No, it was the legs and bottom. I would argue that you turned out okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's pretty deep. Outward appearances. I was raised by a little five-foot woman who raised nothing but boys. Uh-huh. Right. So, you know, she got it. You, 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 can't, you can't raise a gang of boys, you know what I'm saying, just saying, go over there and sit down. Stop it. Well, I understand you got You got to put a... If she's um, only five feet, five feet tall. You got to whack you a little. You got to put plate, a little fear. But there are other And she's ways. a very sweet woman. Oh, no, she was never... I never got beat. Or so I never mm-hmm. got any of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would have preferred a beating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I remember. Smack, smack. All once I've given like sort of a premeditated, you know, licking, as my uh-huh, nice to call. Uh-huh. Uh, Jesse, okay, I'll talk to you about it. Later. I'll tell you. I gotta tell you what it. All right. Jesse, All right. we used to have the cars parked in the driveway. Yeah. And he took his bicycle, with the handle grips gone, and w- forced it through between the two cars, uh-huh. scratching the sides of both cars. Uh-huh. Your beautiful cars he messed up. Then came in and said to mom. Hey, Mom, um, something happened to your car? It must happen in a parking lot. Uh, you got a bad <laughs> scratch on there. I uh, tried to like, cover the whole yeah, thing up, and, yeah. I had, and, and in his handle grips were just were like the paint. paint chips through the whole thing. <laughs> so not only, and then he just sat there and like lied on You beat him for just on. being silly and, 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 and I said, hiding yeah. the paint chips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do it, do it right. You should have done one of those nipple tortures on him. Oh. <laughs> Hang him by the flesh, so like I'm in your movie. Which you can see <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> night at your movie. Oh. But wait a minute, so you said to him, you know, go in the room? No, and, not like uh, that. I just said... Whack, whack, whack on the on the butt kind of uh-huh. thing. Yeah. So, Not this premeditated stuff. This is this is more spontaneous. Tone, tone's a torturer. Tone's <laughs> well, like, hey, I go down and pull down your pants and, and wait for me. Really and then I don't do crazy. anything, right? Yeah, no, I like I, I, I like that. Used to try to go to sleep before they come in a room and they come in there and pull that blanket back. Come on, everybody knows that. <laughs> don't play games with Make me. that bottom red. You know mm. what I'm saying? But I never hit my kids. I hear you. Know you, know you I love my kids to death, man. I'm sure every parent who hits their kids loves them. No, I don't. Don't try to make me feel bad over here for disciplining my children. I beg well, your Well, that, that's, that's the cop out. I was disciplining them. Okay. Oh, I'm going to discipline. I'm not going to call D- time Discipline out. is one thing. Well, I'm not but, you know, the whole idea is to teach them something, and I don't think anybody well, that's ever why they learned only get three anything while they were being hit. Nothing got pounded into their head but your Thanks face. Thanks a lot, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a child abuser. You got any scratching that? Yeah, well, Robin had a tough time as a kid. Uh, oh, look who's talking. Your father, uh, did, you know, <laughs> her father. Four times a week in therapy. Her father did, her father did some bad things to her. Yes, yes, I yes. I see. But you're the one who's going four times a week. Oh, well, so have you. <laughs> in all fairness. Are we getting personal? <laughs> Evidently, we oh, she's attacking me. All right, listen. Tone Loke will be signing copies of his Tone video. Loke will be signing copies Sign of the copies video. Of the video tomorrow at Coconuts on Fifty First and Avenue of the Americas from five to seven p.m. I'll be here all the way. I just flew in from Los Angeles to do this. You know what I mean? I hear you. Saturday at Record Town at the Palisade Center in West Nyack, New York, from noon to two p.m. You can see Tone Loke perform tonight at. Tink's Nightclub in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, you know. And October 24th at Sunset Station in Las Vegas. I'm like the Chuck Berry of rap, you know what I mean? Really? I mean, I, I still do all these oldie shows, believe it or not. <laughs> They're like, you still doing shows? I'm like, yeah, man. I'm doing a lot of shows. Doing a lot of shows, man. I mean, it's Domino. And let me uh, let me throw a, a plug to uh, my man D. Snyder over here, whose new movie opens up this weekend. D, yeah. you got a movie coming? Yeah, yeah, Strangeland. My man, dark film. You nice like it? Love. You like uh, creepy movies? Like Seven? No, but I'll check it out. I'll check it out. <laughs> you want to go to a party? What are you doing tonight? I gotta perform. Man. Oh, we got a good party. Going He's going to Scranton, I'm Pennsylvania. Kidding, yeah. Yeah. Well, D wrote it and uh, co-produced it and uh, stars in it. And tonight is the premiere, uh, Night of a Thousand Scars, at oh, Webster Hall at 7 p.m. And uh, you can get tickets by going down there or calling Ticketmaster. And it's going to be wild because they're going to have all this scarification stuff going on. Yeah, there. because people actually sewing their mouths and eyes shut. 
You're going to have girls down there. You're going to hang them by their boobs, right? The, uh, oh, the broads. Oh, no, uh, well, they are doing some flesh hook hangings well, there. Actually, oh, flesh hangings. The oh, babe. The Which guy's guy's going forget on the performance. <laughs> Scarification. There will be flesh hangings at my party. Yeah. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's time to the party stuff. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got Pornocchio down there. Who's Pornocchio? Oh, no. Apparently, this uh, woman has this, uh, has this tarred <laughs> affair with a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> really? Who mistreats her? Yes, and <laughs> well, that the steel bikini will be there, where a woman wearing a steel bikini they take a chainsaw to a crotch. Oh my! It's a very oh, exciting wow. spark. Show. Somebody tell me they're going to hang your uh, parents by the flesh. No. Is that true? <laughs> there is a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> that should be good. I'll be on that. Tone will be doing a caning demonstration. Down That's there. nice. I like that. <laughs> yeah, there will be having some canings going on. You may want to get some pointers. Is that right? They come down there, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah. Bam, bam. Bro, check and this who out. Neil Sporic. Oh, Neil Sporic. That's the face lace. They're sewing their lips and eyes shut. Ugh. Well, that's in Dee's movie. They sew, they sew yeah. it. Yeah, but they guys are going to be doing that. They really Why? do it. we got yeah. some whip masters down there with bull whips and things like that. we got people eating bugs and glass and fire shows. And nobody wrong has with come it. to arrest you? <laughs> no, not, not yet. How come when I try to do that, really? people try to... One can only hope. <laughs> I had a guy try to eat bugs. The uh, I don't know. What is that? The ASPCA, ASPCA said they their day. marshals down. It <laughs> closed me down. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, it was really sick. <laughs> anyway, oh so... Don't forget, man. I appreciate that plug, man. No problem, Tone. And as a matter of fact, I'm a huge fan. I love your music, and I wish you the best. Hey, man. Thank you very, very much. I like you in your man. movies, too, man. Hey, yeah. man I Blank check. It, man. Oh, we, the man. kids, we watched that Thank all the time. You, you were great in that. I appreciate it. What was that it. Western you did? That was really cool. Posse. Man. Yeah, that yeah. was great. Yeah. Remember me last time I was here with Mario Van Peoples, how we? Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. What the hell did he say? <laughs> Baby, you're looking good. Why, thank you. You can said? come back. Yeah, I must say, you look like a black fish. A black? In an aquarium. Fish in an aquarium. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never fine. heard of You probably would find a fine black fish. Oh, I fish. forgot. A fine black fish. <laughs> <laughs> you look like that fish, you know, that I do on Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh. it no you want some of that? Oh, that's you on that Blockbuster <laughs> fish? You know, it's a black fish, right? Yeah, that's, that's right, 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 right. That's right, that's right. On. Robin and Tony, well, you can take it outside. <laughs> and uh, Tony, thanks for stopping by. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll man, be back man, right man, after I these words. Good seeing you, you again. It's a wonderful Peace. thing to have so many devoted friends. Dad in USA Today, which, by the way, now is my favorite newspaper, criticizing CBS for bringing raunchy radio shock jock Howard Stern to late-night broadcast television. Am I the only bad thing in this country? They seem to be pretty much focused on me because I'm the one that gets them to raise the most money. He could never raise money until me. Well, if my movie catches on, I think I'll be taking some of the heat away from well, there you. There you go. I hope it sure does. I hope it's the number one movie this week. Um, uh, why won't USA Today take our ad? Is the USA Today afraid of the truth about Howard Stern's filth getting out to the masses? Oh, the truth. Why would they be afraid? They're not afraid. They probably think your, your, your ad is filled with the lunatic fringe. Afraid of the truth. Maybe because it's libelous and it's not true. Oh, you should see. You they should see this. They love to take people's money. Why wouldn't they do that? Mm. You, wait till you see the ad that they took out. Like, it's a big picture of me on the cover of TV Guide. And is this far away? Meanwhile, I was on the cover of TV Guide. <laughs> no, it's not far away. It's happened already. Yeah, they got to keep <laughs> up. Um, yeah, they seem to object to my show being on CBS, but not on the E! Channel. That's what has happened, that you reach the network is really blowing people's minds. Yeah. Yeah, I read something about that as well. What did CBS used to stand for all these, you know, yeah, Tiffany Network. Yeah, and it now it's... supposed to be about quality, and now it's about Howard Stern. Yeah. Um, all right. Why, why is USA Today afraid of the truth about Howard Stern's filth getting out to the masses? Where are the free speech guardians of the media elite when the AFA is not allowed to speak freely? Oh, so now they're oh, now they being want censored. Free speech. They want free speech. Well, of, course we were, of course, we weren't asking for free space in the paper. We would have paid for it just like everyone else does. But USA Today is not interested in our money. Yeah, because maybe, maybe this is borders on racketeering and trying to keep me off the air. Uh, the Howard Stern Radio Show debuted Saturday, August 22nd. is now available in 70% of U.S. households. Um, according to USA Today, Stern says uh, CBS has placed no restrictions on him as far as content goes. We can pretty much do or say anything permissible on radio. So what? And 
then they give a whole a whole big thing about how I, I fondle women on the air. What's wrong with that? They do that on every TV show. Melrose Place, they fondle women. Yeah, what is that on those soap operas when you see people rolling around in bed? That's okay. That's on during the day. Yeah. yeah. When kids are awake. Oh. Howard fondles women, tells Robin a dream in which he performs oral sex. Excuse me, the president does that, and it's on the news every You're night. just dreaming. Yeah, I'm not even allowed to dream about oral sex. <laughs> It's 11.30 at yeah, night. Yeah, I know. A porn star describes how she had sex with 300 men for a single film. This is what they're objecting to. Well, these are all bad things. Yeah, what do you want from me? Oh, Oprah can have those things on, but I can't. And then they get this big ad. I don't know. And then it says, this, it's time to take a stand. It's time to take a stand against Howard Stern. Uh, what have they been doing before? They've been taking a stand, but no one paid attention to them. How about no. you go stand in traffic? It's time for the other people to stand up against these people. I mean, they, Man, act, no one like does. they act like they're the moral majority. They're this minority group, and they're making decisions for the majority. Yeah, I'm going to preach a little bit. It's really frustrating. Yeah, but how, does it, but, but how do you take a stand? I mean, look, like I'm a regular guy, right? I don't think about this kind of stuff. i got a busy life. You gotta sit there and take us. You, you just think, well, these are you religious. Just watch kooks. what you want to watch, and you go about your business. Right. I think that, but meantime, a show, you know, shows are being canceled or pulled, or people are backing off of advertising or airing something. And you know, if we don't say something about what we want to see and what we want to hear, it's crazy. People will decide things. In for some us. of the small markets where I'm on, they're having an effect. They're yeah. actually uh, getting some advertisers to pull out. I heard that up in, uh, in, in Colorado there were some problems, and I had so many people come up to me and say, hey, t you know, tell Howard. But basically, that tell they, Howard we what? support you. We support you. Big we watch deal. your show, yada, yada, yada. Well, you're not doing they enough. They think that all they have to do is watch the show, but there are people who will take them off. Can I say something to D, though? You've got to call up and demand the show. Hey, D, first yeah. of all, I want to thank you for your support. You're a good spokesman. But too bad with that nose ring. You look like a serial killer. It's a, my one, my one friend who makes sense. He's endorsing. You know, you know, looks like he just chopped the head off people. So you don't want me to do that TV ad. <laughs> exactly. I hope you get the call. D. Snyder, Night of a Thousand Scars. Tonight, I'm excited about this. It's at Webster Hall at 7 p.m. D.'s new movie coming out this weekend. Strangeland opens tomorrow night. D. will be signing copies of the soundtrack to Strangeland, along with other bands like Soulfly and Head PE. Today at I don't know where, because it's, now, now it, I'm confused. Now it's at Tower Records. Okay, on West 4th Down, Street? Yeah, on Broadway. Can I just say, by the way, that uh, on Saturday, Twisted Sister, the original band, all the original members, will be signing autographs at Looney Tunes in Babylon? Very nice. Two o'clock. Well, I'm excited for you with the movie, and uh, it's going to be great, and everyone uh, is pulling for you. Thanks, man. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Howard. Yeah, hi. I'm on the internet, and how come you're not on it? How come I'm not on the internet? Yeah. I'm working right now. I'll get on with you later. We'll meet you in a chat room. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll take, get you to my house and chop your head off. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you misunderstood me. I mean, how come when you go into Howard Stern in the morning, you're not on it? There's Raz and there's Booker. Oh, you mean on the K-Rock site? Yeah. I don't want any part of that. Why not? Because I, I'm not interested in my picture being on there. Oh, but you're a good-looking man. I don't I'm not saying I ain't good-looking. I'm just saying I don't, I don't need my picture on no internet. I just thought it would be a good idea. I'm not into the Internet that much. Uh, I I'm bigger than the Internet. Well, the Internet, yeah. you know when the Internet's going to be great? Like, I was on the Internet the other night. And I go to uh, some web page, and the guy had TV shows. Like, just all kind of TV shows and radio shows. And you click on, and you can watch the TV shows. Yeah. Like, one of them was an old Jack Benny show. Oh, I said, I hey, I'll watch this. But then when you watch it on the internet, you know, I got a I got a T one line which is pretty fast. It's like kind of it, it pops in. It's not clear and it's not great, but it's on the verge. Because imagine what it's going to be. Soon you're not going to have networks. You're not going to have like uh, NBC, CBS, ABC. You go on the internet. Your TV will be directly plugged into the internet. You go to a guy's web page and say, "I want to watch I don't know, D's new movie." Mm -hmm. Bam! It'll be there. It's there when you want it. Yeah, right now I'm watching uh, Stutter and John's uh, video. That's what I'm saying. You see, that's cool. Like, you could program everything yourself whenever you want to see mm -hmm. it. That's very cool. Yeah, but don't you think you'd be bigger if you were on the internet? Even bigger than ha than you are? No, no, I don't. He's all over the internet. I'm, a I'm big already. Oh, you don't want to be bigger? No, I'm big enough. 
Some people want to be bigger than they are. I, I'm fine where I am. He likes his size. I like my size. I've grown into my size. I'm as big as I'm going to be. Uh, huge, man. That's all. That's it. I'm huge. Like D says, I'm huge. It's huge. Ugh. Uh, I think Booker's kind of cute. <laughs> I've seen Booker in real life. He ain't that cute. Oh, cute. Yeah, Booker's kind of cute. He gets laid a lot. Yeah, yeah Booker. A, uh, he's got a nice personality. Booker and Ralph are like real good friends. They go to clubs together and bang chicks. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, well, he looks kind of cute on his picture on the internet. It sounds like a prospect here on the phone. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens, man. I would love to be a single disc jockey because you can bang all the chicks on the phone. You've never experienced. No, it kills me. I gotta say, it's a major disappointment in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Just to like pick up the phone. Hi, how you doing? Hey, I'm listening to you right now. You want to come over? Yeah, I want to come over. Yeah. Man. Have you seen me? Yeah, I saw you. Hey, you find me attractive? Yeah, I find you attractive. Okay. Oh. <laughs> then we're in business. Uh, I just thought it'd be a good idea if you were on the, uh, on the K Rock radio. You no, know, don't think so much. <laughs> Can you imagine she came up with that idea? <laughs> she thinks it would be a good idea. Imagine I'm single and I go over and bang her, and then afterwards I hear for like a half hour. You know, it'd be really cool if you were on K Rock. <laughs> <K-Rock laughs> this is why <laughs> you're <laughs> not doing it. That. That's probably why I'm not doing it. <laughs> yes, exactly. God sparing me that. As Rodney said, the three minutes of pleasure ain't worth the three hours of BS. <laughs> 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 what are you trying to say? I'm trying Nothing. to say that it would be really sad going to bed with you. <laughs> oh, really? How do you know that? You don't even know me. I just would have to talk to you afterward. If you would just do me and then keep quiet, then it'd be fine. Yeah, if you would be like Monica. But even Monica wasn't like <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you would oh, just I not be... be... I could be quiet. I won't talk to you. You don't have a diary, do you? No, I don't. You're not going to tell my wife. No, I won't tell Or the you. National Enquirer. You won't keep it on a <laughs> no. spreadsheet. She's on the internet. Oh. Perfect girl for me would be do me and then set fire to yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> do you talk with your mouth full? Can I? Do you? Do I? No. How old are you? I'm 19. Mm, yeah, that's good. Well, that's good. <laughs> if you would just do me and then, like, be quiet and let me leave, like if nothing ever happened, that'd be the perfect thing. And not take notes. Right. <laughs> not not no spreadsheet. And know when you get in front of the grand jury not to crack. And, no, and know that beeping sound on the other line is a tape machine. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I'm at, I'm at work. No, I can't keep a secret. Okay, baby. <laughs> Are you really cute? Um, yeah, I am. Got a nice body? Uh-huh. Nice ass? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm an ass man. That's my thing, the ass. That's what his father used to say to him. Yeah. You're an ass man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you're a real ass. You really got a nice ass? Yeah, I do. Just squeeze those cheeks. Yeah, my boyfriend thinks so. Ugh. Oh, oh. 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 oh I love you. <laughs> Goodbye. I blew it. Bitch. to hear about that. Ass wife. <laughs> All right, one last call and we got to do the news. Yes, hi, you're on the air. Hey. hey. Um, I'd just like to say something that, um, I, okay, I find you cool and all, you know, mm, like, thanks. you know, you're nice, you know, you're down to earth and all this stuff, but thanks. there's one thing I don't like, okay, and that is when you put people down, you knock people down, like, and when they go to say something back to you, you're like, oh, okay, I can't take it, and then you hang up on them right away. Why, why? Why do you do that? Why do I do that? Yeah, like you can't, you can dish it out, but you can't take it back. Yeah, I guess I'm, I guess I'm a flawed human being, huh? I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm not as cool as you. I guess when people put you down, you can take it. Let's see if you oh, can yeah, take I'll it. Why don't I put you down and talk about what a moron you are? Your, 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 your accent is infuriating. Oh yeah, that's real cool. Where do you live? Where do I live? I live in Port Colborne. Where? Port Colborne. Port. Holborn. You can't even say where you live. Port Carble. <laughs> Port Carble. Port Cornhole. Yeah. Port Cornhole? Oh. Yeah. You live in Port Cornhole? Yeah, sure. Port I know you Holborn. are, but what am I? Yeah. Yeah. And that's all I had to say to you. Is like, why? Wow, that really hurt. Oh, well, I bet you I, I, Gee, you're really upsetting oh, me. Don't cry. I'm going to think about it the whole rest of the day about why I'm so whacked out. But I can't take criticism. But you can dish it out. But I can dish it out. Meanwhile, he let that guy talk today for about five minutes and give his opinion. Yeah, about how I suck. Yeah. Yeah, but you also, like, majorly put him down and everything. Yeah, well, what should I do? Sit there and take it? No, 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 no. Oh, you're right. Every time he'd open his mouth. Oh, I should agree. Every time he'd open his mouth, you'd jump right in there and cut him off. Yeah, it's called an argument. It's 
call and argue. Do you ever argue with your mother? I'm sure every day because she can't stand that she no, gave birth I, to you. I have, in fact, in courtesy to let yeah. Oh, you let your mother yell at you first. and you don't interrupt? No. Nope. Liar. I let her finish, and then I. You're, why are you not doing that now? You, you keep interrupting why? me. Because you've been doing it to me. You just interrupted me. Why are you being discourteous? Because you do it to me. No, you, you did it to me first. You did it to me. You did it to me. You did it to me. You do it to everyone else, too. I do not. Oh, okay. All right, whatever you say. What do you do for a living? What do I do? Um, Why do you repeat everything I say? I'm an ex-dancer. Oh, you're a stripper? A dancer. And this is the illegitimate baby. I don't dance no more. How's that illegitimate? You don't dance no more? No, I have two children. See if you can correct your own grammar. I don't dance no more. What's wrong with that sentence? I don't dance anymore. Oh, anymore. Mm. So you're an unemployed slut. I'm an unemployed... Yeah, I am. Actually, yeah. Yeah. You're a slut. Yeah. You probably have two children, illegitimate children. No, they're sent from the same father. I'm still with Yeah, but you're not married. Five years. You're not married. No, because I'm too young yet. No, because you're a sloppy po. Yeah? So why are you having problems? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having a problem. You are. Oh, yeah. But those kids are going to grow up to be strippers, too. Spreading well, their then legs. Are, well, then that's your, their choice, isn't it? That's right. Because you're a sloppy po. As long as they don't be dirty about it. See, that's another reason why you're dirty. I went back to dancing, but I had to quit because I could stand to see the people doing dirty dances. Oh, so you just you just did it for a little bit. Well, I did it for years before that until they came out with the lap dancing, mm. and I ended up having children. Yeah, because you can't you can't even control yourself. No, because I don't like it. If I see a, if I see a how woman old were you when you started dancing, stripping? I was underage. I was thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah. So how how do you figure you got the brains to crit critique me? Your grammar's horrible, well, you're dopey, you got kids that are too I young in age. I don't even smoke anything. I don't drink. I, I don't didn't say anything. that. Big deal. Well, how would I be dopey? If you had any brains, you would be smoking something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I used to years. How's that trailer you're living in? Oh, it's like wicked, man. Good. Get lost. <laughs> Bite me. Little po. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a Poe is, but... It you know funny. what it is. <laughs> oh, is it? it <laughs> sounds wrong. It sounds wrong. Uh, exactly. You know, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, Harriet, you're on the air. Harriet on the air. You know, Howard, I got. I want to agree with the woman that just spoke. You're a we sloppy love, Poe, we too. We speak out for you all the time, man, but sometimes sloppy you act like Poe. a little kid. Yeah, well, that's my job, okay, to be me. You gotta be you. Well, shut up. Is that Mark? What's his name? <laughs> yeah, it's Mark Harris. It's a weird day. Come on, man. We, we always push forth for you. And, and Who cares what you do? Don't do me any favors. Like don't, don't, do me any favors. don't do me any favors. Don't do me any favors. You don't have to push forward for me. <laughs> go, push forward. go push forward for the Grease Man or Mark and Brian or Man Queer. Push forward for them, not me. Leave me alone. Your voice could make a tire iron go limp. <laughs> Sloppy Poe. Right? Well, you wonder why people call it with these concerns. So what? It's just a dopey radio show. I love that. I'm, the, I'm, I'm a big fan. I think you're really cool. And then but. you just hear it coming. But. but. Yeah. I don't want to hear the but. All right? Maybe I don't need to hear it. I don't need to be, I don't need to be critiqued. Or don't. I don't come here to, get, to listen about views. They don't know by now that you... I'm not interested. Do what you do. That's You're it. Howard. Except for this one thing. Yeah. What is it, Lori? Hey, Howard. Hi. I just want to tell you, first of all, you're the best in everybody. Well, thank you. Jealous. That's all. If you, you're jealous. That's you're all. successful. You're, you can retire today if you wanted to, and they're all jealous. Mm -hmm. But the reason I called is to tell D how great he is. He is he's great. He's such a cool guy. And yeah. you two are so fantastic together. We love each other. It's a love fest. Like we enjoy each other like brothers. You really are. Yes. See, do you um, practice in New Jersey? Everybody's always advertising that you practice in their rehearsal studios. It's all over the papers all N the time. Yeah, that's no. I've never rehearsed in New Jersey. That's wild. Cause like I'm dying to see you. Do you ever? Are you playing in New Jersey at all? It's not any, anything playing. Honey, right you now. get in the you car. Can see my movie. Go see <laughs> no, his movie. Go see your movie. Go see my movie. I can't yeah, wait. no, no plans right now to, for any shows, but I will. I'm sure before the end of the year. Yeah, that's good. All right, leave me alone. No, nah, she, hey, she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> keep her on. Yeah, keep her on. Robin, we got to... not trash you, right? Right. 
No, there's a lot of D. Snyder impersonators out there, and they're probably rehearsing in Jersey right now. But how many have a ring in their nose? Not many. That's right. Robin, we've got to do news. It is news time. That's right. A lot of important things are going on. You've got to be informed. You've got to see this thing, though. What? I got an invitation. What is that? I saw that on your uh, desk. I didn't know what it was. The, the picture of the black guy and a black woman? Yeah. Huh. Listen to this. I got an invitation. You know Donnie Simpson? Uh-huh. Who's Donnie Simpson? He's a DJ in Washington. Right. We and know he's him. on the BET, I think. Right. We knew him, like, what, 20 years ago? Right, in Washington. Yeah. That We're friendly with him. 20 years ago. Wasn't he married to some broad and got a divorce? Yes. Oh, because look at this. I got this invitation. In 1973, we said, I do. Donnie and Pam invite you to attend their 25th wedding anniversary celebration. Wait a minute. In 1973? Yeah. We didn't know him then. Hmm. Yeah, Is he good. married to the same woman? I don't know. But he's like remarrying his wife or something. He's re-upping? <laughs> would you do that? Would you like have one of those ceremonies where you remarry your wife? Yeah, actually, I would. You would? Yeah. Uh, you're weird. We're talking. I weird. would. We're actually talking about doing the Elvis thing, though. Uh, going you know? to Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, don't make me a part we'll of that. To. Dude, I. I wouldn't invite you to anything anymore. Thanks. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like, he up. does not want to go anywhere. I don't. And, and, and I certainly and, don't want to watch you remarry your wife. And I think he appreciates it more that I don't. That's right. I don't and know if guys like, remarrying their wives. Invite invite Howard to Webster Hall. I said, it I'm not going to ask like him. a woman thing to do. Yeah, that's like a, such a fag thing to do. No. Like, you know, I'd rather dance with a guy in a thong than remarry my wife. <laughs> with your wife. I would. Well, slip it on, bro. I would. You want to be my friend? Avoid me for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> that's my buddy. We're like brothers. I have never seen. I have never seen this guy. Yeah, that's why you're my best and friend. That's why we're so close. That's right. And you know what? You're the best friend I ever had. <laughs> you leave Except me alone. Occasional annoying phone calls. Dee, I I'm love perfect. You. Phone calls, all right. And you know, D. And now I've short my phone calls because he's explained to me. But look at the whole, this. answer machine. That's thing. right. We haven't seen Donnie I in like twenty Donnie years. Actually sent you. An invitation. Man, he's inviting us. He's a black guy. Are you going? <laughs> no, hell no. What does he's a black guy mean? I'm just telling people I got a black guy that would invite me to his 25th anniversary. Wow. It legitimizes him with yeah. the African American. I'm just trying community. to move into and the, the African American. Right. His wife's cute and everything. Well, I, I thought he got a divorce, though. 